Yeah, I think that's a good question. I think Huawei have clearly seen huge amount of growth. Um, they put a lot of effort and R&D into their 5G offering, but there are considerable concerns, I think particularly from the US intelligence community, around how close Huawei are to the Chinese state government. Um, and does there kind of remain the opportunity for the Chinese to ask for back doors into their software? I think that's a real concern uh, that the US seem to be pressing. I think what's been interesting, obviously, over the last couple of days uh, at the G20, President Trump seems to now be talking about softening his stance. And so I think as, you know, as, as consumers, is this about national security or is it about uh, trade? It sort of undermines the position that they are a serious security threat if he's willing to, to, to change his stance. It looks like it's more of a bargaining chip than a real threat in this, when, when he acts like this. Yeah. I think um, what's interesting is to see how the rest of the kind of international community have responded to, to, to some of this. I think if you look at the UK government, for instance, and what they are uh, proposing is actually being quite pragmatic and saying actually we can't 100% mitigate the risk uh, from this single supplier. Um, and actually what we'll do is place them at certain points where they're not in critical parts of that 5G rollout. They're going to test some of the Huawei products and work with the, uh, the telecoms providers to actually put those into the network with them. So they're doing some mitigation around the fact they can't 100% they can't guarantee. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.